start here, we bring it into the trough. And from there, we use, there's a camera up there telling me how many fish are above here. This is my little density reading right here, so I have it set at 10%. So when this drops below 10%, that's going to trigger a little plunger to open up, and my pump should kick on. That's how before when you, I said, oh, here they come, because they hit 9%, so that triggers the whole system to go. So from there, they get pumped up into that tray up there, and that is the last place in this trailer that these fish are forced to do anything. Everything else in here is designed to be around their behavior and instincts, and we use that to teach them into doing what we want them to do. So they get pumped up into there, and then they swim out of here. The two exits right here which go into these two channels, which is in this black slide area right there. And the fish are going down and they're getting, every single fish is getting measured head to tail to the nearest tenth of a millimeter and then sorted according to size. All of those lines there are six different sizes set up based on this population of fish. Okay. So that's something I can change. I have to change it daily, weekly, every time we switch ponds. Um, are they coho or chinook? These are chinook. Yep, these okay. are summer chinook. Okay. So after they get sorted, they go into these lines over here. So this tray here is just like the one up above. It just has one exit. So the fish on their own, no force at all, swim out of here. This channel has a series of sensors with gates to keep the fish single file and upright the entire time they're in the system. They swim down here, there's a little fish-shaped head mold, complete even with the little eyeballs. So in their face blocks this year, there's two sensors on the end of this Mark IV, so it's like this. Fish comes in, blocks the sensors, that triggers the system here. For one, the Mark IV to put a tag into their snout, and also for our clippers to come down, find the action spin, and flip it off. Okay. Um, if you look up above there, on the screens up there, this is a live image of what's going on behind this camera. Okay. They do it like this. So what happens is when that fish comes in, this black box is our video camera, takes a before picture, tells the clipper where to come down, comes down, and then takes an after picture. So that's what we get before and after and you know what percentage has been removed. If enough has been removed and the tag is where it's supposed to be in the cell. So gate opens and it comes out of the pond. Okay. So I remember all of seeing... that with no handling, no drugs, no extra stress on the fish. That's why they would that's how chicken is all happening. I remember seeing people up in the shed trimming them by hand. Yep, so, so now they... the trailer over there, 